Mathmex take to the OCG this week with, yup, circular, yup. We also have the newest evolution in Splite, actually, featuring, you guessed it, Ava shenanigans. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Back 30% of you guys have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe and smash it so we can move up the 100k ladder. So, OCG Thursday, what's going on here? Yeah, Circular's a good card. Sending a Math Mech monster from your deck to the graveyard, except for itself. Smash some of this from your hand, and you can only attack one monster that turn. You don't care about that. Alright, and if another Math Mech is normal or special from your, uh, while this card is on your field, you get to add a Math Mech spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Hmm. You get to search for equation, you get to add, search for induction, or you get to soup, search for super factorial. Seems all good to me. So we have triple copies of Asher Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of Effect Veiler, triple copies of Ghost Bell in the Haunted Mansion, one Ghost Ogre, two copies of Addition, triple copies of Circular, two copies of Diameter, one copy of Multiplication, one Nabla, two copies of Ligma, two copies of Subtraction, triple copies of Maxi, we have Triple Parallel Seed. We have one Token Collector. I like how Token Collector's just found a mainstay here. We have Double Call by the Grave. One Cross Yowdy Designatee. Uh, triple Sign of Mining, of course. One Equation. Triple Copies of Small World. One Anti-Smell Fragrance. One Induction. And one Super Factorial. Down here, we have one Update Jammer. One Splash Mage with one Al Mirage. One Link Disciple. One Link Devotee. One Link Garibo. One Unicron with one IP. One Heat Soul, one Wick Kid, one Axis Machine with one Laplacent, one Alan Bershon, two Alan Bershon, and one Final Ligma. So I think here we have one Fire Sorcerer. Flip, randomly select two cards in your hand and remove them from play and ping your opponent for 800. That's cute. We have one Ghost Ogre with one Kumamungus, triple Nibiru, one Baguski, one Transcode Talker. We have two Lightning Storms, triple Infinite Permanence, one Red Reboot, and one Stygian Dirge here. Wrapping up, well, our Math Mech deck. Next up here is Ava Shenanigans, and yeah, I've, I've seen some real fun stuff here with the Agent deck. Actually, Agent Splites, I think, is taken off as one of the not-so-like-crazy builds that we're seeing at the moment, but it is definitely making a little bit of a splash in the community as of late in the OCG, because it, it doesn't harm itself in any way to play the deck. It's just get to recruit for Ava, search for Herald Negates, and then you can end on a stupid Archlord Christia at certain points in the combo, but this build's not playing Archlord Christia. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, one copy of DD Sprite, two copies of Diviner of the Heralds, one Ava with one Ghost Reaper, triple copies of Herald of Orange Light, one Majesty Hyperion with one Master Hyperion, triple copies of Maxi, triple Splite Blue, uh, two Jets with one Red, and then we have two copies of Neptune, triple copies of Earth, one Trice Herakery, two Called by the Grave with one Cross Up, two Prosperities, triple copies of Splite Starter, triple the Sacred Water, one Talents, and one copy of Lost Sanctuary. Down here in the extra deck, we have two Splite Elves, one Al Mirage, the one Guard Moon, one Hauk, we have two Parshath, one Access Code, one Totally Awesome with one Splite Gigantic, one Pluto, one Chang Ying with one Hyperion. We have one Baron de Fleur and one Anintis. Side deck here, we have Triple Contact C. We have one Kishi Le Kill, the big one. By, so you get to just deploy this by tributing two monsters. You basically get a mini Floodgate effect on your opponent. It's actually kind of cute seeing this outside of its own deck. We have two Ghost Reapers, one Evil Twins Trouble Sunny. Then we have Triple Artemis Slay, one Talents, one Red Reboot, and Triple Copies of Solemn Judgment here. Wrapping up a very, very interesting take on Splite for you guys. Now, Splite, in terms of more of a standardized functionality of a deck here, this is going to be your Tri-Brigade package here. Now, we've seen the, the little Splite deck getting to take advantage of, you know, kitten shenanigans because level twos all right the fact that you can mess around with all of the fun little interactions that splites give you thank you gigantic for being able to special summon out thank you for being able to revive with elf uh, and then end on you know the revolt and all that other fun stuff yeah so we have triple copies of ash blossom enjoy spring 
one effect Valor, one Ghost Ogre, we have Triple Copies of Maxi, Triple Splate Blue, one Carrot, we have Triple Jets with one Red. So that's your Splite Package, you don't need to go like super crazy outside of that. We have two Frock Dolls with two Karras. Triple copies of Kit, gotta love the level 2 interactions. We have triple Nerval. We have two Call by the Grave with one Cross of Designator. Two copies of Tenki. Triple copies of Splite Starter. One Talents. Triple copies of Imperm. One Revolt. And one Emptiness here. Down in the extra deck, two Shirog. This is a little bit more standardized at this point in time. We have one Rugal. One Frigid with one Bear Broom. Two copies of Splite Elf. One Al Mirage. One Unicorn with one IP. One Harvest Genger. Still glad to see Harvest Genger's getting some love. One Apple with one Double Dragon Lords. One Axis Code. And one big old gigantic Splite. Side deck here, we have one Pankertops. One Space Rock. We're playing one Delta. Just so we can play the one Gamma. That is hilarious. Poor OCG having Gamma Limited. We have two Retaliating Seat. One Driver. Two Dark Rulers with two Regekis. Two Twin Twisters. And two copies of Solemn Judgment here. Wrapping up Splite Tri Brigade. And like I said, I think that this is really cute in terms of a deck for you to be able to pick up, mess around with, and you know, get to enjoy some tier zero Splite. All right. Next up here, oh, look, it's circular back at it again. This time in, you guessed it, my fun as crap. Ad Ignister deck. I mean, let's be honest here. Ad Ignister being able to link climb is hilarious. And yes, Geyser Coliseum plus the arrival Ad Ignister. That is hilarious. So we have triple copies of uh, Chi 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 Chi. We have triple copies of Ash Blossom. We have one Baruru Ruru. We have one Madan Mari with one Doyon. Triple copies of Effect Veiler. We have one copy of Gacha Kiri. Two copies of Ghost Ogre. We have one Hayari. We have one Edition. We have triple copies of Circular with one big old Sigma. We have triple copies of Maxi. Triple copies of Picari. Two copies of I Meet You. Pretty standard here. We have one Idol Reborn. Two copies of Called by the Grave. One Cross Out Designator. We have triple copies of Cyanide Mining. We have one Fighting Spirit. Only one of the field spell. And then we have one equation. Hey man, free monster reborn for link climbing is pretty good. And we have triple copies of Inperm here. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Update Jammer with one Transcode Talker. One The Arrival. One Splash Mage with one Lingariba. One Firewall. One Heat Soul. One copy of Dark Templar. Two Dark Infants with one Wick Kid, one Axis Machine. We have one Alan Bershin, one Light Dragon, and one Wind Pegasus. Side deck here, we have two copies of Droll, one Space Rock, one Axis Code. So weird that you a second Axis Code might actually come up. We have one Link Spider, two copies of Forbidden Droplet, two copies of Kaiser Coliseum, two Twin Twisters, two Dimensional Bearer, one Red Reboot, and one copy of Vanity's Emptiness here. Wrapping up a very, very interesting list in terms of, you know, development and things like that. I do like what we're trying to do here, though. This card's just busted, man. Last list we have here is branded, yeah, branded tier elements. Oh, boy. You know, this deck is really busted for what it wants to do. Thanks, Brandon. We have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy of Spring. Two effect veilers with one Fallen of Albaz. Triple copies of Ghost Ogre with triple max C. Then we have one Hoffins, one Maru, triple copies of Rhino Heart, and triple copies of Shaylin here. And then we also have triple copies of Brand of Fusion, two copies of Call by the Grave, triple Fusion Deployment, actually getting freaking normal value out of this card is amazing. We have triple copies of the Field Spell for Searching, two Pot of Prosperities, one Roto with one Terraforming, triple copies of Imperm, and two copies of Matanes. And then extra deck down here, we have one Gloomy. One Time V Redoer, two copies of Kitakalos, one copy of the Kaido Heart, one Starving Venom, two copies of Dragos Topelia, two Mirror Jades with two Lubelions, and triple Albion here. Side deck here we have one Pankratops, triple Droll and Lockbird, one Nibiru, triple copies of Dark Roller No More, two Twin Twisters, triple Anti Spell Fragrance, and two copies of Mistake actually here. Wrapping up this chunk of OCG Dark Profiles for you guys. As you can see, like, Circular is a very good card. All right, like, all of the little interactions that you got with just being able to play at Math Max, even in like adding Nister as well, uh, it, it really just became like a one card engine. I've seen one card like Crazy Link Summons 
with it, just being able to like build up and go. But you can thank adding Nestor interactions. So guys, please if you comment about Twitch, same here, smash the crap out that subscribe button, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.